Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. It's Michael T. Mondak reads time again with the eponymous Michael T. Mondak on this Wednesday, continuing a Halloween themed week of picture books that I read to virtually to you, your parents, and your teachers. If I can't do it without a preview as to what I'll be reading, here it is for this Wednesday. Let's say you're not afraid of anything. Not even things that spook you. Well, I've come across a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. Wait a minute. The little old lady who was not afraid of anything. That's the title of this book with a storyline written by Linda Williams and illustrated by Miss Megan Lloyd. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes, and the shoes went clomp, clomp. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go. Clomp, clomp. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, and one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went, shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went boo, boo. This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock knock on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? I know what you're thinking. Two shoes go 
clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded and his face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night, closed the door, and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. One scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. And scare all the crows away. And that, boys and girls, ends the story for this Wednesday. Join me for another Halloween-themed story on Thursday. See you then.